Hey there everybody. How you doing? I want to show you guys a little quick tip. I've been doing RC now for, oh my god, I think over 30, 30, 40 years. This is something I started doing a, a long, long time ago. When I started flying Spectrum, um, I only flew it for a short while because I had so much grief with it. Um, the receivers would keep browning out on me, which means they would lose their signal and your plane would crash. I crashed two planes because of that. And then somebody brought me onto this idea of adding a capacitor like this, with the connector, let me see if you can see that, with the connector to the receiver. I've been doing this for the last, I'd say at least 25 years, I've been doing it like this. I've never had a receiver issue since. If you notice, all quads, they come with a capacitor like this built into the quad. It, it makes the current, it smooths out the current and then it just makes it, it it's like a, almost like adding a backup battery to your system. If you look at this plane, even though it's like a, an absolute beginner's aircraft, the receiver is right here. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Here's the receiver, it's an ER6 and stuck to the top here is a little 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor. It's right on here and it plugs right into one of the channels. It doesn't matter which channel it is, it plugs into one. Let me show you what it looks like on camera when you're using a capacitor, okay? Now, this is really simple. I have a battery, a BEC, going to my servo tester. Now watch this. If I take my servo tester and I plug it from the battery, watch the light. It instantaneously, instantly goes out. See that? On, off. Now plug it back in. Now this is, just imagine this being your receiver. So now, you want to add some safety to it, add a capacitor. I'm just going to plug it in here as if it's going into another channel. There. Takes a few seconds. Now the cap is charged. It's got voltage in here. Um, so you say you're flying your airplane, you're moving all your servos and everything's getting moved around and it's drawing a lot of current. And it goes below a certain voltage, so you get a voltage spike. Watch the blue light when I unplug the main power from it. Watch how long it takes for it to go out. Unplug. Notice how it takes a little while longer? It's not instant. Plug it in, all right, unplug. It takes a few seconds. What it's doing, it's holding the current in the capacitor to give, if the, if the receiver needs um, more current into it uh, or more amperage in the system to supply the servos, it'll take it from the capacitor, it'll be stored in here. And it just smooths everything out. So instead of, you know, the, your voltage going up and down and up and down uh, in your thing, you know, your servos are getting weaker, stronger, weaker, stronger. This will absorb it, will take the, the kick, will go with it. I don't know how else to describe it. I've been doing it like this now over 20 years, 25 years. Never had a brownout since I've done it. All my aircraft have it. I don't care how small the airplane is. I don't care how big the airplane is. You could use a, a 3300 microfarad. You could use any size capacitor you want. Um, as long as it's, you know, rated for the voltage. These are rated for 35 volts. So if you're running like a 4S, uh, 6S battery, make sure that whatever voltage you're handling, it'll, cut, it'll handle that capacity so you don't blow the capacitor because when these things pop, it makes a hell of a bang. So uh, that's it. So like I said, just add it and you can stick it anywhere in the plane you want. My gliders have it. All my FPV planes have it. Uh, all my drones have it. It's, it's an amazing issue. Issue. You could buy these. These cost you about to make uh, to buy one of these things. Hang on, I'm gonna unplug it. To buy one of these things, uh, I think they're like ten dollars. You can make it yourself for pennies. Just buy yourself a little servo extension. You can cut both ends off and you use one for one capacitor, one for another. Negative goes to the stripe of the side here with a little line, and a positive goes on the other. Uh, if you notice, there's three wires here, but the other wire it's just heat shrunk under here. It's not connected to anything. You're just using a negative and positive wire. That's it. Put on a short connector. I made it a little longer for my, for my other plane because I'm just working on another one. I want to move it around. And uh, that's all you need. And you just plug it in, my friends. It's as simple as that. It's easy. It works well. It costs you pennies to make. You just buy all the parts on Amazon and just plug it in. And it could save your aircraft. Anyways, guys, that's my little tip for today. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye now.